In this video, we're going to demonstrate some of the new enhancements to the contact processes. Okay, if you're familiar with opportunity sales processes, then this will be very familiar. What we've done is we've got contact processes in the account, and we've added a couple of features so that when you have a contact with the process, you, you'll now see the process tab. Now, you may have to enable the process tab. To do that, you'd click on this arrow right here, you'd click configure, and you would choose to show. If it, if it happens to be hidden, you would uncheck the box and click submit. Now, right here on this contact record, I don't have a contact process. If I click on the process tab, I'll see any of the processes that I have. This is just a real simple process. It's, it's a keep in touch process. This is just going to trigger me uh, a reminder every 30, 60, or 90 days. It's just going to continue on a cycle and I attach it. So once I've attached this contact to a process, now right here on the, under the history record, I see that process step showing up. Now the other thing is on 313 of 2012, I will also see that on my home page. So I see a little picture of a person. That means that this is a contact process. If you want some more information about processes, watch the video on managing sales opportunities and sales processes. The processes function the same as an opportunity process. If you're not seeing your processes for contact show up on the home page, there is a setting on the account page under tasks that will allow you to show or hide those particular processes in your task list. Sometimes people don't want to see all their opportunity project or contact tasks in their home page. So this setting, if it is set to yes, will allow those to show up on your home page. I hope you enjoy this new feature. Thank you.